Hey everybody, Paul here and welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. This is the channel where we travel all over the country and eat and bring you along with us. Today we are in Newport, Oregon. If you've never been to Newport, Newport's kind of a cool little bay town. It's really small, but it has everything. It's got seafood, it's got fishing, it's got a beach. Um, today we are in the Bayfront, Old Town. We're walking around, checking out niche souvenir shops, and we're gonna get some food. We've been to a lot of Bayfronts here in Oregon. Newport's a little bit different because it kind of smells here. It's, it's the real deal. There's like actual fishermen that yeah. work here. They do like real dock work here. This isn't just like pretty up for tourism. This is a working fishing community. Yeah. We're going to go show you the crab pier where everybody can for free, well, as long as you got gear, go crab for Dungeness Crab. Well, you so need a license too. Oh yeah, yeah, of course you I need mean, a license. But you but... don't have to pay to like get on the pier. Is that what you're saying? No. And you okay. can catch, if they're legal size, 12 Dungeness crab a day per person, which they go for like what? 20 bucks a pound? 10 bucks is a it, pound? Is it per day or per session? I think it's per outing. Walking around town, I have to get my uh, clam chowder fix. I get it everywhere I go. I have to get some here, right? So we found this place, it's called Blue Ocean. Ocean Blue. Ocean Blue, I don't want to mix that up. They say they make their own chowder here in-house. It's down on the pier area, so it must be good, right? I don't know, check it out. So it looks like we've got some paprika here. It's nice and thick. It looks like there's plenty, look at that, look at that. Yeah, looks like there's plenty of potato in it. I don't know about clamage. Hopefully it's not too hot. I don't want to pull an onion on it. Mm. That's pretty good chowder actually. It's not very salty. The texture's a little thicker than I like. I mean, it's almost like in chunks, but I'd rather have it thicker than too runny. say it's, it's pretty average across the bar about what you would expect to have of uh, clam chowder nothing super special but still pretty good you know over the years I thought I had enough but I missed it so let's see what it's like here very smooth I didn't get anything in that bite like not a potato not a piece of clam not a vegetable let me try let me try this next bite Mm. That had a big chunk of clam in it. It was really good. So, yum. I think the, the soup, well, the chowder part is really smooth. It doesn't taste mealy. It's flavored super nicely. I just feel like it needs more stuff in it. Seafood, yeah. More seafood. Now, one of the things we also picked up while we were here at Ocean Blue was a beer from a local brewery. It's actually not local to Newport, but to Depot Bay, which is maybe eight or nine miles from here. I love Depot Bay. Maybe we should stop at Depot Bay. We should stop at Depot Bay. Anyway, uh, they have a brewery there. This is their red ale. It's actually the Moby Red Amber Ale. And it's super good. We are on the pier here in the bayfront. You can actually crab from where I'm standing right now, but most people, they crab off of the south side of the bay. You can actually see it right over there under the historic Bay Bridge. Now, next to the crabbing pier is the Rogue Brewery, and that is their actual brew house. They do their distillering over there. They make their beer there. They have a great little restaurant, but I think they have a location here downtown too, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. One of the local favorites here is Rogue Brewery. In fact, we're in the Rogue Bayfront Pub House. That's a lot of words to get out of my mouth. They do have a restaurant at their brewery. We wanted to try the one out here. Walking into this restaurant, it's really cute, kind of vintage feeling. They have a gift shop. You can buy beers to go. You can buy swag. They have a small menu. It's gonna include like shareables, some local favorite seafood, of course, because you're on the bayfront. Um, there's a bunch of sandwiches, 
and a few hamburgers that look pretty tasty. The beer menu is primarily their brews. And today was kind of a weird day because some of their taps are out, but they had enough on draft that we were happy with. And I decided to get the classic, the well-known Dead Guy Ale. So you can get Dead Guy Ale, you can get Dead Guy Pale Ale, you can get Dead Guy IPA. I went with just their basic ale. This has been served all over the world. That's really yummy. It is rich. I thought it was going to be kind of bitter because it has a higher IBU. It's like 40 and I usually, mm, my palate's around 25. That one's good. Let's see what Paul got to drink. Part of what I ordered actually says add a Boilermaker for the full experience. I think a Boilermaker actually adds to every experience, but I'm a little confused. So check this out. Normally you get it in a little shot glass and you drop it in. Maybe I'm just old school. But I got a nice big glass of whiskey here, and I got some beer. So I'm just going to sip the whiskey and drink the beer. So I don't know what kind of whiskey it is. It's probably like, we'll see. It's not bad, actually, but let's try this. Not the mm. same one I got. It might be the same one you got the classic, yeah. the ale. Yeah. yeah, that's delicious. I have not had whiskey in a while, so this is delicious. Mm. I can't believe he didn't ask what kind of whiskey it came with. It's been too long since we've ordered a cocktail. That's hilarious. Well, after Amy made that comment, I turned around. Actually, Amy said, huh look over in the corner and I went and there it is there is a big showcase of their distillery whiskey which I assume is exactly what I got going on here I decided today that I'm gonna take a break from seafood because I've been eating seafood everywhere I go and as much as I love it, I know you guys are getting tired of watching it, but they have this thing here, since it's the dead guy brewing and all that kind of stuff, they have this thing here called the dead guy burger. Check this out. It's got, apparently this is like organic, blah, blah, blah beef. Got bacon, blue cheese. Look at this, look at the crispy, crunchy onions on here. But here's the cool thing about it. When I put this on, look at this bun. Look at that. I don't know what to think about that. Maybe that's a kind of a bread that I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's black bread. I don't know, but it's black on bottom. And on top, it's a pretty good looking burger. All right, I'm super excited to eat this dead guy burger. That is absolutely delicious. Why don't you look at this, look at the bread. It's black inside too. Those of you that are like bread consumers, like yeah, duh, it's black, it's blah, blah, blah. I don't Probably know what got, blah, blah, blah is. Probably got squid ink or something in it. Squid ink. Okay. Yeah, we're doing great. We're doing great, thank you. Some extra now. Thanks. Thanks. Squid ink, Amy said squid ink. I kind of like that. Let me try my dead guy burger with the squid ink bun. All right, let's try one of these tots. They're really, really crispy. You know what? It tastes like tots. They're good. Well, I had to get some seafood because I couldn't resist when they offer a locally caught rockfish sandwich. This is deep fried um, fish, of course comes with lettuce, tomato, tartar sauce, and I ordered the fries on the side. I'll taste those in a minute. My bun is not black, but nice and sesame seed. And I'm gonna cut this in half. So we can get a better idea of what that fish looks like cooked. That looks really, really yummy. Mm. 
it's delicious. The tartar sauce is super tangy. So I'm not quite sure what that fish by itself tastes like. It's pretty fishy, but I like fish, but so it doesn't bother me. Now the French fries, they look nice and seasoned. They're crispy. Honestly, I've been picking at these while Paul was eating his food because I was so hungry. They're yummy. I like the skinny size too. Then you get mostly like fried surface and seasoning. It's my turn to take a bite of this dead guy burger. There's so much bacon on that. Mm. Mm. There was so much happening in one bite there because you got the crunchy onions, you got the bacon, you got the beef and the bun and it's not just like all about just the burger. I think I really like that. It's a little bit salty and I think that's the, it's probably the beef patty that's salty. You think so, not the bacon? It might be the bacon. We'll try one more bite. Yeah, you fit any more in your mouth? Yes, I can. I know what the one thing is in there that I'm like, I'm not sure what I don't like about that. It's the blue cheese crumbles. I don't like blue cheese or feta or any of the weird crumbly cheese. I want my cheese to be like smooth and mushy, like brie or provolone. These tots look amazing. They're seasoned just like the fries. I think I like the fries better because they're crispier. On the west coast they have a lot of different kinds of fish than we eat on the east coast. Like on the east coast they're all about the grouper. On the west coast they're all about the halibut. But rockfish is a really common, like rock bass and stuff, super common. You can actually pay to go out and charter really cheap and catch them. So they're pretty common everywhere. But rockfish is delicious for a white fish. So try it out. That's a delicious sandwich. Um, yeah, the, 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 the patties are kind of thin, or the fillets are kind of thin, but the taste is all there. And that tartar sauce, Amy's right, that's delicious. Mm. Oh, they got fries here too? See those fries? I'm not gonna try those fries. I tried the tots, Amy said they're the same, so a fries a fry, right? Well, what did we think of the Rogue Bay front? It was delicious, it was fun. It was, uh, actually guys, there's a lot of people in town today because it's a weekend, and when the weekends come in, the tourists come into the coastal towns, much like us, and just fill it up. And we were able to walk in here, sit down right away, there were lots of open availability, the beer's good, the food was delicious, I'd never had uh, a black bun burger before, so that was kind of cool, kind of a new experience. Um, what do you think? Did you, did you like it? I thought it was delicious. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I'd have to say that if, if you're down here, I would recommend if you're in the Newport Bayfront zone-ish, go down to uh, Rogue Bayfront, check it out. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and most importantly, choose a comment. We'd love to hear from you. We also encourage you to reach out to your local food bank or food shelter find out what their needs are, you donate some food to someone that's hungry in your community, uh, makes a big difference in their life and it makes you feel good too. So until we dine together again, stay classy.